Hey everybody, it is Sunday evening and I'm actually uploading some video right now of my new world tank. I finally got around to pulling that great big piece of wood out of there and I got it all on video so I'm uploading that video now. I'll be editing that tonight. Hopefully I'll get it out tonight. Again tonight being Sunday the 15th and if I don't get it out tonight I will get it out tomorrow but in the meantime I thought I could do a little quickie on my waterfall tank here. A lot of you know that I recently started treating it with ChemiClean. That's why the Airstone is in there. You can see a little bit of that sort of sudsy appearance on the surface. And it's only been in there for treating for about 24 hours, maybe 26 hours. And look at what the cyanobacteria looks like on that wood. It's already peeling off in sheets. It's turning a uh, weird pale color definitely getting the uh, stuffing knocked out of it so that'll be clearing up pretty soon I've still got some fairly dark green stuff growing on the plants down there so this tank had a lot of stuff growing in it and while I did give it a good heavy dose of the ChemiClean it's probably going to take multiple treatments to really uh, knock all that stuff out of there and then of course when you start looking at the tank itself all of this really dark green stuff is cyanobacteria. Uh, I definitely painted it up to sort of match what it was going to look like. I fully expected it to look like that. I expected this to look like a natural sort of outdoor waterfall. And I've never seen a natural outdoor waterfall anywhere that doesn't have algae and cyanobacteria and green stuff and orange stuff and all kind of weird stuff growing on it. In fact, uh, this sort of color, brownish orange, I put in there myself. And this weird color, whatever that stuff is, is growing in there naturally. So I did a pretty good job matching that color, even though I had no idea what that was going to be. And then, of course, if we look up here, we can see we've got more of the suds and there's more of the cyanobacteria everywhere. So this tank would take an awful lot to really get it wiped out and completely clean. But that's not my goal. I'm not that worried about it. I just want to get these uh, pieces of wood here in the front and the glass and just some of the more obvious stuff you can see cleared away. I want to get the plants cleared off because they uh, will suffer, not because the cyanobacteria is toxic in any way, but it will block light from getting to the plants. And if you see like these plants back here that have that green growing on them, that's blocking their natural uh, light absorption. So getting that killed off while leaving the plant itself unharmed is a good idea and that's what I'm working on. So there's a quick little update on what's going on in my waterfall tank. I just wanted to show everybody uh, what that looks like. Again, this gives you a really good idea of how that ChemiClean gets in there and just starts wiping out that green sheeting cyanobacteria, that blue-green slime algae as it's referred to sometimes. So there you go. Thanks for watching this one. Make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss the big uh, video of me pulling that giant piece of wood out. Uh, I'm not done with it yet. We've still got to shoot the follow-up video. I just got done the big water change on the tank, and we're going to let the tank settle down a little bit and the water to clear up, and we'll shoot the follow-up part of that video. And again, hopefully we'll get that out tonight. If not, it'll be tomorrow. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed that. See you real soon in the next one.